another busy Saturday for sport. German Grand Prix qualifying, as you've already seen, the Connacht football final replay and Greyhound racing still to come. But right now, our focus of attention is soccer and the third and fourth place playoff at the Carlsberg Trophy at Lansdowne Road. In yesterday's semi-final, St. Patrick's Athletic were beaten 3-2 by Liverpool, while Lazio lost in a penalty shootout to Leeds. It was 1-1 in that game after 90 minutes. So yet another test against top-class opposition for the Inchicore side this afternoon. Their third game in four days and how well they've acquitted themselves. Time now to go to Lansdowne Road to see how they fare against the Italian giants of Lazio. We join our match commentator, George Hamilton. Welcome to Lansdowne Road. It's the uh, third, fourth playoffs in the Carlsberg Trophy. It's St. Patrick's Athletic against Lazio from Rome. And St. Patrick's Athletic completing a marvellous fortnight for them in which they had that European Cup tie against Celtic away and then home. And then last night, their match against Liverpool in which they acquitted themselves well. And now this against Lazio. And they've had to make a change because their striker, Martin Riley, whom if you were watching last night, uh, you'll know had to receive stitches to a head wound. Well, he's had to be withdrawn from this match. So a realignment of the St. Patrick's Athletic Forces puts Robbie Devereaux into the starting 11. And that's the only change from the team which began last night against Liverpool. Well, Owen Hand is here to uh, look forward to this meeting of St. Patrick's Athletic at Lazio, the very first time they'll have met. But what a wonderful fortnight it's been for Pats. It's been a tremendous week for them, or fortnight, shall we say, taking the two games against Celtic. Great experience from just talking to Martin Riley down on the pitch there. He's very disappointed that he's not involved because of the cut he received yesterday. But he was saying what a, what a fantastic experience it was playing yesterday against uh, Liverpool. And now the... The big game is against Lazio, uh, players that they'd see on television, possibly. Yes, and I think that uh, uh, Pat Dolan certainly is, is, he'd prefer that it was Lazio because you, you can play the likes of ordinary old Liverpool and Leeds any time, you know. <laughs> um, Lazio, of course, are a bit special. So, I mean, I do, know, I do know that he would prefer if the timings were a bit better because, you know, coming so soon after the, the European, it's a, it's, it could be termed a little bit of an anti-climax because you could have a separate build-up entirely for this tournament um, but that's the way it's, it's turned out and they really will benefit from this experience their younger lads especially Trevor Malloy being one that I think he's uh, he's flourished in these uh, in the circumstances over the last uh, fortnight and of course the central defensive pair of Hawkins and Lynch they have looked outstanding against top-class opposition I was just saying yesterday George I mean we talk about the you know the, the 160 odd goals that were conceded in the World Cup and how many of them were down to basic errors and lack of concentration at vital times. And these two lads, I mean, they've been put to the test over the last fortnight, the two games against Celtic and last night against them. And they've been absolutely magnificent in terms of uh, the concentration and the positional sense that they've showed against very good players. Now, you could say that Liverpool was a pre-season warm-up game, but there's still a lot of prestige involved. But then you look at the two Celtic games. I mean, they were really tested there continuously probed against uh, the ball being moved in front of them, being moved in behind them, being moved across them, and they, they equaled it all. I mean, they were absolutely magnificent. The whole team, of course, um, acquitted themselves quite well in the, uh, certainly in the defensive stakes. It was always going to be a problem to create chances. Referring back to that, I think that uh, St. Pat's would have ruled the, the magnificent uh, opportunity that Martin Riley had across in Glasgow. But having said it all, when it's uh, Celtic were the odds-on favourites, they were always the ones that were a lot more likely to go through. The whole thing is to, to learn from the experience, and they certainly have done that. Well, of course, with the uh, National League season just a matter of weeks away now, it's got to be great for St. Patrick's Athletic to get the opportunity to play matches against such opposition, to hone their match fitness, and to get the experience of playing against world-class opposition. Well, that's it. I mean... It's certainly it's, it's it's like sort of a higher education if you want to kind of a, make a, a comparison. You really are being tested at the highest level, and of course, if you if you learn from all the, I mean, each game is, a, is it's full of decisions. You have to make decisions, thousands of decisions in one game of football, and of course, the decisions that they had to make, they were very testing ones, and that they came out on tops. And of course, it's using the experience that they have gained against the top classes in the domestic game. And, of course, uh, we would like to think that it rub off across the board. 
and that's the whole purpose of playing against the continental opposition and bring it home to the domestic scene and of course there is a, a great confidence abroad at the moment about uh, the, the national league soccer and rightly so well we'll see how they get on this afternoon against lazio who were of course the beaten finalists in the uefa cup by inter milan in paris in may and now it's Lansdowne Road on the first day of August. And it's Lazio to take on the champions of the League of Ireland, who line up with Trevor Wood in goal and a back four of Jeff Clark, Packy Lynch, Colin Hawkins, and Keith Doyle. Uh, in the middle, Eddie Gormley, the captain, Paulo Sam, and Martin Russell, and no doubt Robbie Devereux, too. And uh, on the wings, Leon Braithwaite and Trevor Malloy. Lazio's team somewhat changed from last night and also resting some of their top players who've come through a, a difficult World Cup. Our referee this afternoon, Gerard Perry from Dublin, one of Ireland's FIFA referees. And we're all set to go now with Lazio in having black watched, and sky blue. Uh, having watched Lazio on the, uh, the uh, European Cup final against uh, Inter Milan when they lost 3 0. They were very disappointing that night. And yesterday I thought, like, I mean, it's, it's the Swedish influence about the tactical side of it. Very, very uh, rigid 4 4 2, which is quite unusual for an Italian side. Um, maybe that's instructions for pre season, but uh, I wouldn't have thought so. You know, you, you're kind of pre preparing for the way you're going to play and the, when the real stuff starts. Very rigid. Game kicks off, and Lazio play right to left. And immediately it's Mihailovic on the ball. And the first attack of the match sends Stankovic forward, but Hawkins defended it well. Then it's Malloy to win it back. And now Eddie Gormley. Malloy makes a run through the middle. Gormley didn't play the pass early enough for him. And Lazio have the ball back. Braithwaite putting the pressure on. It's back to the goalkeeper, Balotta. And now the captain, Favali. Ned Vied. De La Pena. A return from Aquino, De La Pena. Recent signing from Barcelona. Rambaudi. Stankovic. This is Rambaudi. Mark Hustle, the player with him. Stankovic. Blocked by Russell Osam. And firmly to win it back. Trying to find Gormley, but it was a little too intricate. De La Pena. Rando Sam. Tried to thread one through. Stopped by Hawkins. Now it's Russell. Malloy. For Osam. Brought down by Stankovic. Free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. Russell plays it for Packy Lynch. Braithwaite steps over, now here's Malloy. Taking on Lopez. Support there from Robbie Devereaux. Devereaux trying to thread one through to Gormley and succeeding. Malloy. Clark back for Devereaux. Russell makes himself available. And a foul by Gormley on Mikhailovic. Free kick to Lazio. Marcolin. De La Peña. Stankovic, nicely played, nice burst of acceleration. Nedviet taking it over. Nedviet with Favali. Favali saved, but not before. The threat had been created. Trevor Woods, first call to arms. Now Nedvek picks it up here in number 10, and uh, he threads it through to Favali, making the run here on the outside. He gets through here, um, but he's, it's not a great uh, cross at all. Never troubling Trevor Rudd, really. Brings about the first corner of the game, which Mihailovic will take. Given a great deal of air, and that was the reason. Player coming up from the back, planting it over the bar. 
Well, it's Negro coming in around the back here, and uh, really he's totally unmarked, and he should have done an awful lot better here. He should have got it on target. Back from Gormley. Keith Doyle, Osam. Now Lynch. Hawkins. Doyle. Think of a Braithwaite. And Braithwaite was doing a little bit of pulling there, and the referee gives the free kick to Lazio. And they've taken it quickly. Della Pena, Favali. Nedved. De La Peña for Negro. Negro making ground up the wing. They've gone inside for Marcolin. Nedved made a good run here. Nice little piece of control. Nedved under pressure though from Jeff Clark. And he's laid it back to Negro. Drilled in by Negro. Stopped by Jeff Clark. And another corner to Lazio. Good sweeping attack, and it was Nedved who made the run that prized open the St. Patrick's defence. And has led to this corner. Be taken by Mikhailovic. Curled in invitingly, punched clear by Wood. De La Peña. Chance to shoot, rebounding from Packy Lynch. That's another corner. Recent signing from Barcelona, Ivan de la Peña. Trevor Ward gets a good fist to this, but it comes out to the La Peña there on the edge of the box, and he just tries to sort of dink it into the corner there, I think. Packy Lynch gets a block on it. Mikhailovic with that one, headed back by Negro and into the side net. Goal kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. Not the best of corner kicks there from Mikhailovic. It's Keith Doyle. Packy Lynch for Braithwaite to run. He's had a lively start, Leon Braithwaite, and he's won a free kick here. Disappointing against Celtic on Wednesday night, but clearly relishing this opportunity to shine against top-class opposition from Serie A. Malloy. Good control. A little ball for Osam. Doyle. Osam makes the run. It's too close to the goalkeeper, Balotta. De La Peña. Once more. Gormley read the attention there from Aquino. Malloy, typical ball to deal with. Hawkins and Doyle. Back again for Lynch. Hawkins. Oh, dwelt a little too long on it. Aquino goes down and wins the free kick. That was a little bit of professionalism there from Rosario Aquino. He knew he wasn't going anywhere, so he invited the challenge to lead to the foul just here. See? Invited Hawkins into him it, and went It down. certainly wasn't Paul Ozam. He made a good clearance there, but it was uh, Colin Hawkins. It's a free kick to Lazio. Certainly for Trevor Wood to defend. Chance perhaps for Mihailovic to slam one in here. The wall is going to have to come back. He had about three from this distance yesterday, and he, two of them went way over the top, and one uh, he got on target. A good save, actually, from the Nigel Martin. And there it is, and straight into the chest of Trevor Wood. Mihailovic thumping it, but it didn't trouble the goalkeeper. It's from a fair old distance out, and of course he, do, he needs to get that top corner to, to trouble the keeper from that distance. Off Favali, then it's Devereaux. Aquino. 
De La Pena. Oh, chance here. There's the first, Stankovic. The simple ball through the centre of the St. Patrick's Athletic defence. And Dejan Stankovic from 15 yards out, beating Trevor Wood. De La Pena here. There goes Stankovic on the run. De La Pena with a superb ball. That really was a class goal. Well, you've got to say, if you look at Paki Lynch here, you've got to say it's a bit of tiredness here. He just stretches out a lazy leg there. He's, uh, you could say that uh, certainly that wouldn't have happened against Glasgow Celtic. The tiredness just showed there. Superb ball from De La Pena to pick out the runner. And Stankovic making it 1-0 to Lazio. Eddie Gormley. Malloy. Doyle. Stop by Malloy. Sven Joran Eriksson, the Lazio manager. He's seen his charges take the lead. In the ninth minute of the game. Gormley. Ozan. Stella Pena, challenged by Braithwaite. And Favali. Nedbied. Tackled by Clark. Throw to Lazio. Her ball. Doyle challenging unsuccessfully. Now it's De La Pena. This is for Nedved. Stopped by Clark. That was an important interception by Jeff Clark because again De La Pena was looking for the penetrating ball. Nedved was on the run, but Clark made the tackle. De La Pena. Negro. Marco Lee. It's Favali. Favali's cross headed clear by Lynch. Onto it comes Stankovic. Past Gormley. Stankovic is shot much too high. And Leeds management team George Graham, David O'Leary. Leeds having got past Lazio last night on the penalty shootout. by Malloy on Lopez free kick to Lazio Favali Colleen. Now Mihailovic. Russell comes in, then it's won back by Osam. But Marcoline has it now. Intercepted by Russell. The sloppy kind of pass from Lynch. It's now De La Pena. And Lynch solving the problem. Making the tackle, win the ball back, but it's gone straight to Marcoline. Now Stankovic. Negro. Hawkins miss kicks. Lynch challenges. Aquino wanted a penalty. Jared Perry was not convinced. Malloy nicely played past Stankovic. Braithwaite wants it played early, it's rolled for him, but a poor pass intercepted by Mihailovic. And now Favali. That needed to go over the top there, Trevor Noy just wanted to get that up, get a bit of air and then uh, get Liam Braithwaite to use his pace. Nedved. 
Mihailovic. Stankovic. Rambaudi. Marcolin. Seeking Nedved. Defended by Clark. And would to throw it out now to Robbie Devereaux. Braithwaite makes the run. Devereaux tries to pick him out with a pass, but it was well read by Mihailovic. Della Pena, Favali. Mihailovic. Della Pena. Stankovic. Nedved. Aquino. Fine shot and a good save by Trevor Wood. Rosario Aquino with the left foot, bringing the best out of Trevor Wood. Good intricate build-up and a fine shot at the finish. Well saved. His positioning was good to start off at Trevor Wood. It had to be because it was heading right for the corner. Very difficult for a keeper, that one. So some more defending for Pats to do. Mihailovic will take the corner. Aquino on the six-yard line and the tall figure of Paolo Negro has gone up from the back. Here's the corner, and Wood clutching it confidently. Devereaux took up a good position. And Gormley makes ground on the left if Devereaux could spot him, but he's decided he's got to take on Nedved. And the ball had gone out. St. Pats have changed their formation today. Uh, with, they're playing a 4 4 2 with Trevor Malloy and Lane Braithwaite up the front. So it's giving Patolan options that he might be able to use during the season. And that's the way to use these games. Negro. Rambaudi. Aquino. Hawkins there first. Aquino tracking back, forcing the error from Colin Hawkins. Negro. Stankovic. Marcolin. Rambaudi. Marcolin. Nedviet. And Clark forced the error from him. Nedviet feeling a little pain, and Malloy takes it forward, but uh, tackled and dispossessed by Marcolin. And Negro, Rambaudi, Osam tracking back. Negro makes the ground. Is Negro with a cross? It's come to Nedviet. Oh, 2 0. Pavel Nedviet. Another sweeping Lazio attack. I don't think Trevor Wood would be too pleased with his contribution to. That little sequence of events. They stormed up the right, tore open the defence, and Nedved was in the centre forward position when the cross came in to drill it low. And Wood, oh, it got right underneath his body. 2 0. Well, you've got to say, you can, you can be tempted a little bit unlucky here because he doesn't really catch this, but it hits off Packy Lynch there. There's a slight deflection. So I wouldn't blame Trevor Wood too much. But they were exposed there, Pat, uh, down that right hand flank. Their left. 2 0 Lazio. 16 minutes gone. Second Lazio goal scorer number 10, Pablo Hawkins. And this has come to Osam. Russell. Gormley on for Braithwaite. And Leon Braithwaite's shot goes straight at Balota. Well, he hit the target. You can ask for no more than that in such circumstances. Braithwaite finding his shot saved. Marcolin. Negro. Stankovic. Favali. Della Pena. Mihailovic. Pats with uh, ten men behind ball and goal, and they seek out Nedved once more. On this occasion, it's a foul. He knocked over Jeff Clark. It's a free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. Pat Dolan and Noel O'Reilly observing a team in a little bit of difficulty from Senor and Eriksson's Lazio. Good play by Trevor Malloy. Devereaux here. Trying to chip one through for Malloy. And Gormley was fouled. Free kick to Pats in a good position on the edge of that Lazio box. 
Now, Gormley himself is a past master at finding the net from this kind of range. As, as is Martin Russell. Indeed. Which is a new option for Pats, given his recent arrival from Portadown. Well, that's right. I mean, Martin Russell actually took an executive free kick yesterday, and it was a brilliant one. Led to uh, St. Pats getting the, uh, their first goal, Colin Hawkins against uh, Liverpool. And into that very goal. Now, Russell is there and Gormley too, and there are five Lazio players in the wall, but it's Malloy. And the one they hadn't taken account of. The goalkeeper stood rooted to the spot. Trevor Malloy's free kick curled away from the upright. Rambaudi, Negro. Lopez and Mihailovic. Run from Ned Diet. Superb first time control. That's left there for Favali. And Favali with the cross. Stankovic up. And Wood in some difficulty, and he's left his goal. Clark solved the problem. Away by Lynch. Malloy seeking Gormley. Stankovic in the way. But now it's Malloy once more for St. Patrick's Athletic. Hawkins. There's Doyle, Malloy. Just a little nudge on him there, means the free kick to Pats. 20 minutes gone. Word about the previous free kick when Trevor Malloy took it. It's, it's always good to have an option of a natural right footed player. Have the left footed one for curling it one way, and then the, obviously the, the right footed one, depending on where the goalkeeper's taking up his position. So they used Trevor Malloy that time. Free kick taken by Gormley, but cut out by De La Pena. Gormley. This is Rambaudi. Strong run by the winger. Support by Stankovic. Saved by Wood. Danger not gone yet. De La Pena didn't quite get hold of it. And Hawkins clears to Russell. Nobody's made the run for him, so it had to be the short ball. And now it's with Gormley. The tired pass from the Pat Skipper. Intercepted by Marcolin. Stankovic. De La Pena. Nedved. Not a good pass for Favali. Clark takes over for Pats. Braithwaite. Devereaux. Braithwaite again. Careless pass, intercepted by Favali, De La Pena, Braithwaite hurrying back to try and retrieve his error and succeeding with the help of Hawkins, and now it's Russell. Gormley, facing Negro. Here's Russell, and Malloy been scampering across that Lazio back line, popping up in the left wing position. Back it goes for Colin Hawkins. Malloy makes the run, the offside flag goes up, free kick to Lazio. Marcelo Salas, not involved today. Chile's World Cup centre forward. It was a pretty tight decision, it wasn't much in it. Trevor Malloy looked like he was onside when that was played. Nedved, De La Pena. For Negro. Rambaudi. Stankovic, Marcolin, looking for Nedved. Good play by Jeff Clark to dispossess him. But again, these runs from Nedved are a sight to behold. Some wonderful play and wonderful vision from his teammates to pick him out when he gets into those positions. The Czech midfielder who just loves to get forward. Keith Doyle now for Pats. Russell. Doyle's continue the run. Russell seeks Braithwaite, a little bit too much pace in the pass. And it's a goal kick to Lazio. Yeah, just talking about Nedved there, um, we see this run that he's making. It's a, he's, he's been causing a lot of problems on this side. He's coming from deep, 
And of course, he gets in behind. It was Robbie Devereaux there. He might have been well advised to take it first time. Giuseppe Favalli, Della Pena, Mihailovic. Lopez De La Pena That's for Negro Aquino lost out to Hawkins Russell Gormley Malloy Devereaux Looking for Braithwaite And Braithwaite got in Ahead of Lopez. Malloy couldn't find Gormley. Stankovic. Rambaudi. Tracked back by Osam. Still Rambaudi. De La Pena. Russell broke up the attack. Then Devereaux. Braithwaite. But just Malloy with him. Leon Braithwaite. Support comes from Martin Russell. From Malloy. And he deceived Mihailovic. Well, Malloy. On it goes for Devereaux. Early ball in. Rebounds from Lopez. And Pats get their first corner of the game. The Pats are having a problem. Their building up uh, is quite it's quite good. The build up is quite good. On this right hand side particularly. But there is, there's no support coming through the middle. So when it's been waiting for the cross, well, there's always to put it into. It's Colin Hawkins who got the opener against Liverpool last night. Corner will come from Eddie Gormley, who got the other goal against Liverpool from the penalty spot. A hit deep, Hawkins goes up, but the goalkeeper Balotta was out. And now it's Aquino, De La Pena, and Nedved. Goal for Aquino, who's the furthest Lazio player forward. Fouled by Clark, free kick to Lazio. He played for that free kick because he had no support, so he dropped to wait for his teammates to get out. Rambaudi. Harmlessly enough through to Clark. Russell, break weight. Devereaux. Balotta. For Negro. Now Stankovic. Marcolin. De La Pena. Stankovic. Rambaudi. De La Pena. Intercepted by Osam as the Latin drummers set up the rhythm for Saturday afternoon in Lansdowne Road. Jeff Clark, Devereaux, Molloy, Russell. Gormley makes a run. Russell picks him out. Then it's Osam. Doyle making ground on the left. Osam checking back. Hawkins, Lynch, Osam. That's learning to play at the continental weight and doing rather well at it. Russell now making the ground. He's seeking Malloy. Lazio won it back. Favali. De La Pena. Braithwaite with the interception. Clark, Devereaux, Lynch, Osam. So good to see the National League champions knocking about like this with such confidence. They may not have penetrated terribly well so far this afternoon, but they've certainly shown composure on the ball. But of course, just such a comment invites a pass just like that. Throw to Lazio.
Hernán Bauri. Lopez. Really don't know what that was all about. Lopez putting the ball straight out of play to give Pats a throw. That's where the uh, rhythm is coming from. I think there might have been something wrong with the ball, the change of ball. And they had a little ball trouble last night as well, I seem to recall. The old pump mustn't be working too well. Lopez, Negro. Intercepted by Doyle. It's Russell. Braithwaite for Clark. Nicely played. On for Braithwaite. Mihailovic came sliding in. And it's a throw into St. Paris Athletic. There has been a few occasions already in this game that uh, the ball might have been just to say, get it up in the air and get it over the that's your defence for Ian Braithwaite when there is space. There's a cross from Braithwaite. Gormley going in, but the goalkeeper was always favoured in that situation. And Balotta made a good catch. And has thrown it out to Rambaudi. Chance for a quick Lazio counter. Marcolin. De La Peña. Nedved. And tied it up by Osan. Just a word about the Lazio uh, formation. It's essentially sort of a, a 4 5 1, but Nedved is the, the spare one, if you like, out on this left hand side, and he has been causing a lot of problems playing in between the St. Pat's midfield and the, the back four. In other words, in between Robbie Devereux and uh, Clark, Jeff Clark. Clark over the top for Braithwaite, taking on Lopez. Support from Devereux. Braithwaite, good turn. But the cross found no Patsman in the middle. And Stankovic able to tidy it up. Mihailovic, Rambaudi. On for Aquino. With him is Hawkins. Back it goes for De La Peña. De La Peña, Stankovic. Cut out by Clark. Braithwaite back defending. It's now Packy Lynch. Oh, intercepted by De La Pena. Oh, Sam got the block on it. Now Makalin. Stankovic. Rambaudi. Good challenge by Doyle. Russell. Devereaux. Russell again. Braithwaite. Nedviad blocking. Ball was out. Throw in to St. Patrick's Athletic. Molloy and Marcolin got it back for Lazio. It's Mihailovic inviting the run from Rambaudi, spotted by Keith Doyle, and back it goes to Trevor Wood. Gormley asked a lot of Osam, intercepted by. Marcolin, Marcolin shot, and another fine save by Trevor Wood. There was a lot of pace in that shot by Dario Marcolin, and Wood did well. Yeah, he really gets hold of this here, picks up a uh, loose ball in midfield and cracks it. It's Lazio's fifth corner that's the outcome, to be taken by Sinisa Mikhailovic. Nedviet goes for the short one. 
turning Clark and winning another corner off Osam. There's a sure sign of a, a, a tired side there. And you see that corner kick, you know, the Nedvig came out short and St. Pat's reaction to it was very slow. As you know, when you're tired, you're inclined to lose concentration. Mihailovic will take it again. Nedved, who's been, uh, for me, the pick of this Lazio team so far, always inventive and popping up in the most unexpected places. And, of course, he's already got a goal. That ball went out from the corner. So it's a goal kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. Mihailovic, uh, central defender. Normally at corner kicks, you'd expect the central defender to be up, adding his height in the box, but he's the man who takes the corners. And on that occasion, none too effectively. He seems to be taking all the set pieces, actually, George. I mean, free kicks uh, from anywhere from 50 yards from the opposition goal. One there by Stankovic. De La Pena. Stankovic, Mihailovic. And through Lopez to Negro. Rambaudi. Malloy and Gormley putting the pressure on. Paulo Negro. Lopez. Mihailovic. Nedviet. Marcolin. Stankovic. Rambaudi. Stankovic. It's Clark who thumps it clear. Come to Negro. Rambaudi. Marcolin on for Negro, this time it's Hawkins for Pats, and Gormley playing in a very definite left-sided role today. Trevor Malloy, the black shirts converged. Malloy losing the possession but winning the throw. Packy Lynch, 10 minutes to half-time, 2-0 to Lazio. Favali, Lazio's captain. Couldn't keep it in play. It's another example of uh, trying to drill it on the, the ground to brace with. Again, again, say it again, uh, it should be lifted over the top, given something to run onto. Malloy, who's shown lots of running and was really trying something rather expansive there and got it rather wrong. But credit him for taking up the position. Real live wire, Trevor Malloy. He's shown over these past 10 days in the matches against Celtic and again last night against Liverpool and then again here what a valuable asset he is to St. Patrick's Athletic it showed an awful lot of confidence that's for sure this is Stankovic and back then for Rampaudi still Rampaudi going on beautifully blocked by Keith Doyle But they've lost the possession again. No Lazio player there. Lynch. And now Sam. Throw in. It's indeed a free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. But to complete the point about uh, Trevor Malloy, a player who had such success for the under-20s in uh, Malaysia, and a player who might well, at this stage of his career, at the age of 21, find himself in a reserve team in England, but to put Pat Dolan's stress on it. He's much better off playing first-team football with St. Patrick's Athletic and getting the chance to shine against companies such as this. And he really is a valuable asset to Pat's. Well, that is certainly the Bible according to Pat Dolan. And a good Bible it is too. Russell. Now Hawkins, who's another player in the Malloy situation, having come home from... A disappointing spell at Coventry City. Jeff Clark. And Favali just got there ahead of Braithwaite. The ball's gone out of play. On your comment about Colin Hawkins, I mean, he actually turned out a contract with Tranmere Rovers. John Aldridge did offer him to, to and preferred to come home to Dublin or back to Ireland, should we say. He's a Galway lad. It's Alan Boxic, another of the Lazio stars who's sitting out this game. Russell. And Doyle. Gormley. Martin Russell. Malloy goes up. It's come to Braithwaite. 
Oh, he just couldn't get hold of it. It's a good chance. He kept his head well, but it just wouldn't come down for him in time to get the power into the shot. The best that Pats have offered. Yeah, it's an excellent cross in by Martin Russell here, and then you've got the little, little, little Trevor Malloy there just putting off the defender, and it, it breaks to Leon Braithwaite. And if he has a, a weakness, I'm sure that he'd be the first to acknowledge that his finishing could be a lot better. I think it's fair to say he's been playing a little better in this game than he has done over the past week or so. We've seen so much of Pats uh, in the past 10 days. That's a comment on how good they've been playing, how well they've been playing. This is Rampaudi, though. Still Rampaudi, blocked by Packy Lynch. Negro. Marcolin, Rambaudi. It's Malloy back. And then Lynch and Russell. Now Packy Lynch. Russell. For Gormley. Malloy available further forward, but the pass was too far. Lopez intercepting. Marcolin. And now De La Pena. Marcolin. Neat little triangles played by Lazio. And then forward for Nedved. Pavali. Marcolin. De La Pena. Nedved. De La Pena. And on through Marcolin to Negro. Rambaudi. It's Lynch there ahead of Stankovic. But it's Nedved now. And Osam with a good tackle. And through Gormley it reaches Russell. Set there for Keith Doyle. Tackle was unfair. Foul by Rambaudi on Keith Doyle. Free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. What a week he's had. Hard to believe it's only six days ago that he was winning the European Championship of the Ireland under 18s. He's got the studies at UCD to return to come October. But football, the very definite number one priority just now for Keith Doyle. That's the type of ball I'm talking about that uh, they want to be using for Leon Braithwaite. Lynch. Favali read it so well, but then it's Devereaux. Back for Clark. Devereaux just caught on the wrong foot there. Negro. Rambaudi. De La Peña. De La Pena once more. He's looking for Stankovic. It's cut out by Lynch. Oh, Sam Lynch again. Braithwaite makes the run. Malloy back for Clark. For Braithwaite. Lynch. Russell. Devereaux. Braithwaite runs on. He's offside. Eddie Foley's flag shoots up. And it's a absolutely correct decision by our World Cup linesman that was what was wanted but if, if, if it comes to Robbie Devereaux here if he just played it uh, first time just by taking that extra touch Lane Brader had gone on into the offside position 
The replay didn't really show it to advantage. The angle was deceiving. He was very definitely offside when the ball was played. Ned Yed for Lazio. Aquino. Clearance by Wood. Gormley back to Doyle. Russell. Clark. Back to Wood. And Favalli just came into the back of Leon Braithwaite. Free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. We enter the final minute of the first half. Two early goals, giving Lazio the lead. Martin Russell. Keith Doyle. Malloy. Turned into trouble there. Marco Lean, Della Pena, Ned Vied, and the offside flag shoots up against Roberto Rambaudi. Free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. With half time just moments away. Russell, Osam, Devereaux, nicely played. Malloy, Russell runs on, but he didn't spot the run and given the ball away. And that, in fact, is the last kick of the first half. The first half in which Lazio, the UEFA Cup finalists, began brightly. Took an early lead, eight minutes in. Della Pena released Stankovic. And then a wonderful goal from Pavel Nedved. Uh, for me, the star of Lazio in the first half. After 16 minutes, proving the second. And that's the way it is at half time at Lansdowne Road. St. Patrick's Athletic, nil. Lazio, two. Brought to bear by Pat Dolan and his team at Richmond Park. Lazio out on the pitch now, but we still await the arrival of St. Patrick's Athletic. Not to mention match referee Gerard Perry. Marco Bellotta, the Lazio goalkeeper. Lazio reserve goalkeeper, to be absolutely accurate. George, you were saying there, you were making the point about uh, St. Pat's. It's nice to see that the way they are passing the ball around, they're full of confidence doing it against a top-class team like Lazio. And that, that comes from the confidence of, of playing against uh, European teams, uh, not just humping it forward and hoping for mistakes, uh, which you won't get against teams of this calibre, but probing and passing and keeping possession. Of course, I mean, the hardest part is the penetration level at the, at, in the final third, but, I mean, that's got to be expected. But, again, it's the way they're going about it uh, and the experience they are gaining. And there are going to be a couple of changes on the Lazio team for the second half. Uh, the captain's armband has been passed to Paolo Negro, the number two, right back, which will mean that Favalli has gone. And in their places, Favalli is one of three players who's been replaced. Maurizio Domizzi is on. Giorgio Venturin is on. And Alessandro Iannuzzi. Three changes on the Lazio team for this second half. As I say, just one identified has already gone. That's the captain, Favalli. And we'll uh, confirm the others as soon as the boards have been shown. Dick O'Hanlon shows that Rambaudi is gone to be replaced, and so has Stankovic. Uh, St. Pats have sent on Jason Byrne. Keith Long and Ian Gilsey. So all change all around as the second half begins. Three changes on each side. Here's the new Lazio captain, Paolo Negro.
Negro. And Keith Doyle went in with the head. The ball goes out of play. Throw in to Lazio. One of Lazio's substitutes, Alessandro Januzzi. Negro. Januzzi. Holding off Russell, who's now got the captain's armband on in place of Eddie Gormley, who's been replaced. Throw into St. Patrick's Athletic. One there by Lopez. On by Crowley. Braithwaite. Cut out by Mihailovic. Gattardi. That was Hawkins. And now it's Gattardi once more. De La Pena. Oh, this is Jeff Clark. Braithwaite. We have the substitution for the Coming in at number 14, Keith Long. Number 12, Trevor Crowley. Number 41, Ian Gunzi. So the three substitutions for St. Patrick's Athletic confirmed. I must admit I thought that uh, Trevor Crowley was Jason Byrne myself because of the hairstyles. Substitutions for Lazio. Number three, In fact, Lazio have four substitutes on the pitch. Favali, Lopez, Labadi, and Stankovic all replaced. Free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. Be taken either by Russell or by Long. In fact, it's Russell seeking Gilzine here with a little header. Just too high. And Gilzine very much the target man and a different approach from St. Patrick's Athletic in this second half. Back to their 4-3-3 with Gilzine, the man through the middle. You would fancy that uh, if Patrick's are to score in this game, it will have to be maybe from a set piece, and there was a good um, half chance there. Martin Russell swung in a good free kick, and Gilzean flick on. Throw into St. Patrick's Athletic. Russell. Robin! Hawkins. And back through Robin! Keith Doyle to the goalkeeper. Trevor Wood. Gilzine going up, but it's won instead by Stankovic. And then it's Doyle. Packy Lynch. Braithwaite. Clark and tied it up by Packy Lynch once more. Hawkins. Offside against Malloy. St. Patrick's actually reverting to their usual 4-3-3 with uh, Long, Russell and Crowley making up the midfield. Malloy, Gilzean and Braith at the front three. Gattardi. 
down Kovic, Katari continues the run, and that's... Oh, he's got through the challenge there, and there's number three, chucked away by Lombardi. One of the substitutes, and Keith Long is furious... Keith, uh, Qu Keith Doyle, rather, is furious with himself at what he allowed to transpire there. The strong run by Gattardi and Lombardi, finishing it off five minutes into the second half. Swift and incisive attack by Lazio. And that's 3-0. But you've got to say that Keith Long here, is a, it's a certain sign of the tiredness here. I mean, normally you would have that tackle won and clear the danger. See, his position is OK, he's getting there, he's got the foot wrapped around it, but just doesn't have the strength to hold it. Januzzi making it three goals to nil. Seven changes in personnel among the 22. Obviously, there will be a little disruption to the rhythm of this game. Mihailovic, here's Januzzi again, but he was offside on this occasion. Free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. And the clearance from Wood goes out of play, couldn't be kept in by Doyle, throw in to Lazio. De La Peña. Hawkins cutting it out. Braithwaite. A throw into St. Patrick's Athletic. Lopez. Venturin. Negro. Stankovic. Mihailovic. De La Peña. Turning round Russell. Still De La Peña. Januzzi, fearsome shot there by Venturin. Flying over the bar. See, Trevor Crowley just gets a little nick in here. You see, he's a, it's a long-range effort, but uh, doesn't get his knee over it. Jeff Clark, Braithwaite, persistence paying off there, and he wins the free kick with the challenge on him by Lombardi. This will be taken by Paki Lynch. Aimed at the head of Gilzean, just a little too high for him, won by Negro. Hawkins in with a firm header on his own part. Malloy. Doyle. Russell back to Hawkins. Picks up Malloy. Malloy past Negro. Cross is all the way over to Braithwaite. Tucked back towards Crowley. And back from him to Jeff Clark. Gilzean goes up. A little bit of pushing there, it appeared, but uh, Gerard Perry, the referee, says no, that's fine. And it's with Balotta. I think well, maybe that's a uh, If we see just uh, this is a Crowley there, he's a bit of pushing, maybe the referee might have had a bit of charity and given a penalty. 
Malloy. Determination winning out there. Gilzine, first time ball in, Braithwaite arriving, and it's put behind by Lombardi. Corner kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. A bit of bite to that attack. Trevor Malloy will take this. Hawkins has gone forward. And, of course, Gilzine offers height. And here's the corner from Malloy. Headed clear by Negro. De La Pena chases, so too does Russell. De La Pena first there. Malloy coming after him, then Gilzine. But now it's with Venturin, and back it goes to Lopez. And De La Pena. Nedved. Lombardi. Hawkins in the way. Russell. And back it goes from Keith Doyle to Trevor Wood. And that should be Woods again. Turn by Gilzine. Now it's Mihailovic. Della Pena. Offside flag shoots up. Gotardi in behind the St. Pat's defense. And again, we've uh, potential ball trouble. But Gerard Perry, happy that it's not too soft. Malloy trying to get in around here. Negro knocks it away. And a throw in to St. Pat's. Trevor Malloy. Leave it, is he, for Keith Doyle? And another change about to be made on the Lazio team. Coming off is Stankovic, and in his place, Roberto Baroni. That change coming after 13 minutes of the second half, which is the fifth change by Lazio. Oh, and a goal for Pats, scored by Ian Gilsey. Lazio regroup and Pats strike back. Well, we say it would have been a set piece. It's a lovely swung in there, free kick here from Keith Doyle, and a lovely glancing header from Ian Gunzian. Well done, St. Pats. So they've breached the Lazio rearguard. And they managed to score against both uh, top class opponents, Liverpool and Lazio. Keith Doyle's cross. Gilzine with a glancing header, and St. Patrick's Athletic bring it back to 3-1. Doyle defending, long, Packy Lynch. Januzzi and Della Pena Venturin Della Pena Mihailovic Lopez Oh, Hawkins seemed to be unaware that the man was behind him and now it's Januzzi and Januzzi goes down and it was solved by Keith Doyle Again, I think that could be attributed to fatigue and a little lack of understanding between Hawkins and his goalkeeper, but he seemed totally unaware that Lucy was behind him. He lets him. it go deliberately here, Colin Hawkins, but um, it's a bad decision, actually, because uh, he must get the call from the keeper there. And we see here, maybe the referee might have given a free kick for a pass back. Oh. 
Martin Russell. Molloy. Fouled by Negro. That's free kick. Gilzean wants it. Hit long towards him again. Hawkins will take. And that's exactly where it's gone. Gilzean rising. Nice little header on. Braithwaite trying to get in there, but Balotta swiftly off his line to gather it in. Negro Cotardi Mihailovic Baronio De La Peña and Lopez Nedjed Yeah, Cotardi. That's Della Pena. Cotardi, here's Ned Yed. He's offside. Ned Yed score of the second goal for Lazio. Della Pena playing this through here. When you see he's, he's in an offside position there as it's straight through there. Keith Doyle just holding his ground here on this near side. Won by Mihailovic. Gotardi. Janutsi. De La Peña. Lopez. De La Peña. Baronio. Negro. The throw. Hasn't been awarded, it's the uh, free kick, I feel, it's uh, to St. Patrick's Athletic. Well, in fact, he's awarded the throw. Doyle, back for Colin Hawkins. Lynch. Gilzean goes off in chase. Lopez wins it, but onto it now comes Keith Long. Good idea, but he just didn't get hold of it with sufficient venom to trouble Balotta in the Lazio goal. He was looking for a dipper there, trying to catch the keeper off his line. Hawkins. Crowley. No Pats player in that quarter. Lopez now on the ball is Venturin. Nedje. Lombardi. Della Pena. Gattardi. Negro. Lombardi. Nedje. Cut out by Hawkins at the expense of a corner. Which after six first half corners for Lazio is the first that they've had in the second half. And this will be taken by Ivan de la Peña. Cut out by Crowley. Long. Malloy is the furthest man forward. That was well played by Mihailovic. Lovely little touch inside for Venturin. Venturin on through Gotardi. And a chance here for Januzzi. Well saved, but finished off by Venturin. 4 1 to Lazio.
Trevor Wood did all he could, but couldn't gather it in. St. Pat's were looking for an offside here, I think. It certainly wasn't. It's a good one, too, there. Just caught Packy Lynch out. But St. Pat's are looking very tired now. Coming in the 21st minute of the second half. Wood at full stretch, but could only take the sting out of it. And Giorgio Venturin following up, netting number four. Now Braithwaite. Clark. It's Baronio now. Ned Bied with Jeff Clark. Braithwaite inside then for Crowley. Braithwaite. Braithwaite won it back there. Malloy in close attendance. Braithwaite with the cross, seeking Gilzine, but it was too high. In any event, the flag had gone up for offside. And finally, the whistle sounds. The cross from Braithwaite picking out the offside, Gilzine. This was the wonderful... It's the one-two here. It's just, uh, as I say, Packy Lynch there, just tired, just reacting a bit slow to it. I see Trevor would just get a half a hand to it and uh, just is only able to palm it into the path of Venturi. 4-1 to Lazio, midway through the second half. Januzzi dispossessed by Martin Russell. Doyle, Malloy. Baronio with him. Baronio pushing him over. Free kick to St. Pat's. Uh, McKenna, their reserve goalkeeper. Hasn't seen any of the action in the last 10 days or so. Trevor Wood, Northern Ireland International, very definitely the Pats number one. Free kick from Russell, hung up towards Gilzine. Headed away by Lombardi. Now Clark with the opportunity to send it right back in there. Bellotta comes from his goal and saves. Little nudge there on Keith Doyle, free kick to St. Pat's. Long, Gilzy. Nicely played by Giovanni Lopez. Now De La Pena. Baronio, the closest to him. He's gone for one looking for Nedved. Cut out by Clark, and the flag had gone up. Nedved said, No way. And another substitution for St. Patrick's Athletic. And now Brian McKenna is going to get a run out. The final quarter of the game. And great cheers all around for Trevor Wood, who I'm sure won't mind ceding his place to his reserve. Brian McKenna having had an outstanding three matches and three and a half matches. Brian McKenna goes on for the conclusion of this was their first choice a couple of seasons ago. Trevor Wood steps aside, and Brian McKenna gets his run out. I say Trevor Wood, if he has the... Well, he surely will have the video of the game over in uh, Celtic Park. He'll remember that one. A tremendous goalkeeping performance to give Pats that nil-nil. Doyle with the throw. Malloy. Long. Now the two Keiths failing to get in harmony on the passing movement. The possession back with Lazio. Negro. Scatardi. Well played by Keith Doyle. And he's eventually pulled over by Gatardi. It's a free kick to St. Patrick's Athletic. will be taken by Martin Russell. Overgill Zeed's head, Hawkins trying to get up there, it's come to Crowley! It's certainly got venom in that. Venturini knew all about it, now it's Malloy. Malloy facing Negro, and Malloy 
getting past Negro, but drilling the cross too high. He's been outstanding, though, for Pats over these last 10 days. He's still got a bit left here. You see, it's a, it's a very good long ball played in here. And he takes it down, good control. And the confidence just to take on Negro. Here he goes, just still has a little bit of sharpness left. Still something left in the legs. Crowley. Hawkins. Braithwaite. And this now is Mihailovic. Bella Pena. Scottardi. Della Pena. Baronio. Cut out by Lynch. Keith Doyle. That's out of play by Lopez for a throw to St. Patrick's Athletic. Russell. Malloy. And dispossessed by Gotardi. It's now De La Pena. And there's Malloy. Certainly has something left in those legs. Dispossessing De La Pena. Doyle back for Russell. Doyle. On for long. Malloy. Oh, Mihailovic clearly felt that the pass back was a little too venomous for the goalkeeper to deal with. And now here he is on the ball again for Negro. Negro continuing the run. Januzzi goes through the middle. Poor ball cut out by Lynch. And now it's Russell. Long, letting it roll on for Malloy, and back for Long. Russell. Malloy. Kilzeen. Doyle. And Long. Packy Lynch. Jeff Clark. Lynch again. And Colin Hawkins. Lynch. Now it's Russell. And Russell wants more. Crowley doing the chasing. Ball had gone out of play. Throw into St. Patrick's Athletic. This is Brian McKenna with the ball. Since he's been on six minutes ago, he, he hasn't had a chance to touch it. Long brought down. Free kick to St. Pat's. Martin Russell teeing it up. Gilzean and Hawkins both up there. Russell's free kick floated invitingly in. Hawkins goes up. It's won, though, in the air by Lombardi, and eventually it's back to safety with Palotta. Samba Bat starts up again. Lazio, 4-1 to the good, 15 minutes to go. Gotardi, back to Negro, and Della Pena. Venturin seeking Nedved. Showed too much of it to Jeff Clark. His clearance has only gone as far as Lombardi. But now Crowley has it. Lombardi tracks back.
Piccoli. Long, intercepted by Della Pena. Thinking about chipping Brian McKenna. Yeah, uh, Della Pena is. He was trying to uh, uh, David Beckham. If we remember the man new goal against Wimbledon, or was it Pelle that tried it way back in the 70s, George, against, uh, I think Gordon. it was Italy? Gordon or Banks. You remember that? And Banks got back and saved it. That's right. A different calibre of attempt, though, from the one that Della Pena managed. Man, McKenna could afford to, swi to smile. Russell for Jeff Clark. And on for Braithwaite. And then Clark again. Braithwaite. Good challenge that by the fullback. Lombardi kept it in play. It's Nedved now. And Mihailovic. Lombardi lost his concentration at the crucial moment. Throw into St. Patrick's Athletic. Gilzine, and then back to Braithwaite. Baronio did well there. And now it's Venturin. On for Nedved. The flags stayed down. Januzzi. Venturin in the middle. Back there for Nedved. Well stopped by McKenna. The powerful shot by the Czech. McKenna going full length to deny him. Here we are. See, it is onside here. If we can see here, it's uh, Keith Doyle's playing him on. It was played back to uh, Nedvek. And uh, Brian McKenna does well here, but it's, it's a sh that's, that's what a keeper wants, actually, when he's just come into it. Uh, a shot from outside the box just to feel his way. Mihailovic Bye. taking the corner. Negro up, off the line by Jeff Clark. Headed away by Hawkins, and now it's Crowley. That was a good deep corner, and Negro, the fullback, got up well. Hit the target. Clark cleared it off the line. Now here's Gilzine. Back for Long. And on for Doyle. Russell. Beautiful ball through for Crowley. Crowley on for Malloy. Braithwaite, Gilzine in the middle. Malloy's cross. And knocked away from Gilzine by the head of Paolo Negro. Used to good defensive effect on that occasion. Having recently threatened Brian McKenna's goal. Cross then from Doyle. A little nudge on Gilzine at the crucial moment. And Balotta able to gather it in. Baronio. De La Pena. Cut out by Clark. Crowley. It's Colin Hawkins. Doyle. Long. Doyle. Gilzee. Asparonio. Malloy. And now Malloy with that little bit of invention. I tried to curl it and a good idea. But that was the point we were making about Pats having the confidence to pass it around and probe for the opening. And then when it found Malloy, he took on the responsibility and had a, a really good idea, even if the execution wasn't quite all that he hoped it would be. Try to curl it around Bellotta. Pats in possession again. Russell, Crowley. Gilzine peels away. A little ball towards Gilzine, but too close to Bellotta. Ten minutes to go. Lazio leads St. Patrick's Athletic by four goals to one. Januzzi. Venturin. And Lombardi. Della Pena. 
Baronio sizing up a shooting opportunity and failing to make anything of it. You'd be disappointed with that effort. You didn't get it on the solid part of the foot. Martin Russell now for St. Patrick of Lenick. Long. Jeff Clark. Gilzine goes off in chase, but Balotta was first there. So to Mihailovic. Della Pena. Negro. Mihailovic. It long by him. Gotardi behind Keith Doyle. Doyle refusing to be overawed, sticking to his guns, solving the problem. Malloy, Long, it's from McKenna. He was aiming for Braithwaite, but got the angle slightly wrong. Throw in results. Pena. De La Pena once more. Russell's closest player to him. Venturin. Bogatardi. Back it goes to Lopez. Mihailovic picked out Nedved De La Pena and that's cut out by Packy Lynch this now is Keith Long Russell Doyle back to Hawkins Free kick awarded against Roberto Baronio. And a further substitution about to be made by St. Patrick's Athletic. Alan O'Connor, one of their youngsters, is going to get an introduction in very, very famous company. The man is being withdrawn as Leon Braithwaite. And he had a good game, Leon Braithwaite, and he's now making way with six minutes to go for young Alan O'Connor. Just a word on that. It is nice to give uh, a lad like Alan O'Connor a run out in such exalted company. But you must feel an awful lot of sympathy for uh, Willie Burke, who's one who stands out. I mean, all through the league campaign, did his bit at right back, and then injury prevented him from taking part in the European Games. And, of course, what a disappointment that must be. Also, as it must be for uh, Tommy Morgan. Let's mention him, because Tommy played a great part in Pats winning the league. Of course, that's what all the squad system is about. And here's Negro pushing forward. And one of the substitutes for Lazio, Gotardi. You don't see, but there's Packy Lynch to send Malloy away. O'Connor making a run up the right. Malloy, Gilzine. And Malloy once more, but uh, Baronio has got in a little too vigorously in, Alan, in Ian Gilzine. Jared Perry still blasted the whistle, giving past the free kick. 
And now it's Keith Long for Malloy. Malloy under pressure from Baronio. Back it goes to Long. Long with a cross. Hawkins goes up, but Balotta secure in the Lazio goal. And cheers around the ground. A great announcement that Ivan de la Peña is the man of the match. Negro in the final four minutes of what's been a, an afternoon of, I'm sure, enjoyment and education for St. Patrick's Athletic to get the opportunity to share a pitch with a team of the calibre of Lazio, the UEFA Cup finalists last season. They were beaten by Inter Milan, soundly beaten, it must be said, too. But you get the impression that having shared a pitch with Celtic on two occasions and then with Liverpool and now Lazio, Pats have learned a lot. Here's Nedved, and that's well wide. They may be losing 4-1, but that, in a way, is a reflection on the, the fatigue factor too. Two matches within the space of 24 hours. However fit you are is a lot to ask. Pats are a very fit team. But there's been a, a huge emotional drain on them as well through the last 10 days. A marvellous performance in Glasgow that put them in a potentially match-winning situation for the return leg. And then to come into this trophy as well, the Carlsberg Trophy. Certainly acquitted themselves very well indeed. Here's O'Connor. It Whoa. is hypothetical, but uh, I certainly would have loved to have seen them sort of uh, coming fresh into this game. I think it would have been a very interesting competition. Samuel O'Connor, an exalted company, stuff that footballers' dreams are made of. De La Pena. Here's De La Pena still. You see, saw what he was attempting there to try and curl it past McKenna, but Packy Lynch had read the danger. Here's De La Pena once more. for Januzzi, but headed away by Lynch. And it's O'Connor. And now Nedved has taken the possession. And here's Januzzi. Januzzi back for Della Pena. Saved by McKenna. Della Pena hoping to clearly crown his man of the match performance with a goal, but denied on that occasion by Brian McKenna with a fine save. It was a very good save from the Ronaldo lookalike. Lazio by four goals to one, and St. Pat's will now undoubtedly be happy with a well-deserved rest after such a hectic schedule in the last so ten days. The That's where we have to leave game. it for now, but there's still plenty more to come here on our team. Athletics pre-season almost complete. What a pre-season it's been! Like I said yesterday, it's like the, the, a pre-season season near enough for them. It's Balotta. Mihailovic. And the whistle sounds a trifle early to bring to an end this game between St. Patrick's Athletic and Lazio. St. Patrick's Athletic acquitting themselves well in exalted company and breaching the Lazio rearguard, but in the end, Italian class just too much for them. Two goals in the first half from Stankovic, put in by Della Pena, and then from Ned Yed, 2 0 at half time to Lazio. Januzzi making it 3-0 five minutes into the second half. Ian Gilzine pulling one back with a glancing header from Keith Doyle's cross. But then the substitute for Lazio, Giorgio Venturin, getting their fourth goal. And so St. Patrick's Athletic leave the arena at Lansdowne Road with the applause of the fans ringing in their ears. It's been a great pre-season for them. And they've gone out here with some glory despite the 4-1 defeat. Exactly, and, and you know, just a nice little thing that's happening right now is they, they are actually they're swapping jerseys with the Lazio players. So that is a tr tremendous souvenir to have when their careers are over and when they're they can be showing them to the grandkids. It's lovely to have those memories. I can tell you. The presentation about to be made to the man of the match, Ivan de la Pena, 
one of Lazio's new men from Barcelona signed he was signed and he'll get the presentation to crown a victory for Lazio beating St. Patrick's Athletic for third place of the Carlsberg Trophy by four goals to one Thank you, George. Thank you, Owen. So, victory for Lazio by four goals to one, and St. Pat's will now undoubtedly be happy with a well-deserved rest after such a hectic schedule in the last ten days. That's where we have to leave it for now, but there's still plenty more to come here on RT Sport today. In an hour's time or so, we have live coverage of the Connacht football final replay from Dr. Hyde Park between Galway and Roscommon. Then, a little later on, we're off to the Dogs at Shelburne Park. That programme begins at ten past nine. While at ten past eleven, we have highlights of today's penultimate stage in the Tour de France. Of course, there's also the Leinster and Munster football finals tomorrow, as well as the German Grand Prix. We leave you now, though, with the goals that saw Lazio beat St. Patrick's Athletic at Lansdowne Road. Bye-bye. De La Pena. Oh, chance here. There's the first, Stankovic. A Negro, Rambaudi. Osam tracking back. Negro makes the ground. Is Negro with a cross? It's come to Nedved. Oh, 2 0. Stankovic, Gatardi continues the run, and that's. Oh, he's got through the challenge there. And there's number three, tucked away by Lombardi. Oh, and a goal for Pats. Scored by Ian Gilsey. Venturin on through Gatardi. And a chance here for Januzzi. Well saved, but finished off by Venturin. 4-1 to Lazio.